Welcome aboard the Meta Instincts channel. Have you noticed that your ships are not performing as well as others, even though they are at the same level? One reason may be because of the hero setup on your ships. By setting up your heroes correctly, you can optimize your ship's performance. In this video, we will cover the fundamentals and tips for setting up your heroes on your ships. Let's first discuss the first rule of the setup, job and position on the ship. A ship is like a business that requires workers to operate. Every ship has three available job positions, which we can assign to a hero, the captain, first mate, and gunner. However, we cannot simply assign any hero to any position because every hero has a specialization. For example, Ned specializes in the operation and maintenance of artillery, making him a good fit in the gunner position on a ship. We can check a hero's specialization by looking at their tag. By choosing the appropriate hero for a position, the hero will receive a 20% bonus attribute. For instance, Ned's original strength is 781, but if we assign him to the gunner position, his strength would increase to 937, or by 20%. The job icon will also light up when the hero's specialization matches the position. However, if we assign Ned to the captain position, we will not gain the attribute bonus. If a hero has the jack of all trades tag, they can fit into any position and gain the bonus attributes. For example, Cursed Ed is a jack of all trades hero and we can assign him to the captain, first mate, or gunner position and still gain the attribute bonus. Selecting a hero for a position is quite simple. We don't need to remember a hero's specialization. Once we click on a position, we will see a list of available heroes. Look for heroes with a green thumbs up, as they are the appropriate hero for the position. Make sure to choose the right hero for each position to optimize your ship's performance. If your gang invests thousands of dollars in Sea of Conquest, this is for you! Get regular discounts of 10 to 30%, plus special flash deals weekly, and a boost in your game progress plus bonus welcome bundle. Experience the advantages of Paxify. No more limited payment methods. Choose from credit or debit card, Google and Apple Pay, or Revel it app for instant payments. For those who love speed, grab up to $400 in bonuses with crazy first deposit deal. Learn how to save money on bundles, reduce game costs, and keep your account 100% safe with Paxify. To become a hero in your alliance and easily demolish your enemies, join Paxify. How to join? Click the link in the description. Attributes. Attributes are essential factors that improve your ship's performance. The attributes of the hero you choose directly affect the ship's attributes. Thus, selecting a hero with better attributes will enhance the ship's performance. Legendary heroes have better attributes than purple and blue heroes, and they are always preferable. For instance, a level 50 Luna is better than a level 56 Ned, and thus, Luna will provide better power to the ship. Additionally, promoting the hero's rank and increasing their level will also enhance their attributes. When selecting a hero, it's important to compare their attributes. Generally, the higher the attributes, the better the hero will perform. If you want to learn more about attributes, please write attributes in the comments. We will create another video covering them in detail. Fleet. We have two types of ships in our fleet, flagship and small ships. Flagship is like our home and contains everything we have in the game. If our flagship is destroyed, we lose the fight. However, we won't lose the battle if our small ships are destroyed. Therefore, the common way of setting up the fleet is to enhance the flagship's defense and focus on offense with the small ships. Our main goal is to keep our flagship alive as long as possible in the battle. To achieve this, we need heroes with a defensive tag and high constitution attributes, such as Ahab. The constitution attribute helps to increase the sailor's HP, which enhances the ship's HP as well. Additionally, we can make the flagship the tank of the fleet by increasing its aggro value. This way enemies will aim at the flagship, reducing the attack on small ships. Small ships are usually offensive and deliver as much damage as possible to the enemy. To achieve this, we need heroes with firepower tags, such as Griffin, Boa, Lester, and many others. Firepower heroes always have a specialization damage type, which can be identified by looking at their last tag. For example, Griffin specializes in strategic damage, Lester in blazing, Eileen in drowning, and so on. Small ships often come with damage type specializations, such as cutthroat damage from the war hammer, strategic damage from the fearless princess, and blazing and drowning from the crimson sentinel. It is recommended that heroes and small ships with the same damage type be picked because small ships usually have skills that affect only the corresponding damage type. For instance, our Crimson Sentinel comes with a third skill that increases blazing and drowning damage by 
If we aren't using blazing or drowning damage type heroes, we can't get the benefits of this skill. To sum up, we need to assign heroes corresponding to the job position to gain a 20% bonus in attributes. The higher the attributes, the better the ship's performance. The common fleet setup is defensive on the flagship and offensive on the small ships. Alright, that concludes our fundamental guide on setting up heroes on ships. In the upcoming episodes, we will explain the hero selection for both flagship and small ships. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. I'm Alan from Meta Instincts. See you soon.